What's up, Brahalla? How's it going? Welcome to the Monday Esports Dev Stream. Yeah. And all those dream hacks, specifically DreamHack Rotterdam. That's right. Which has been fi- confirmed now. Yes. All of the, all yes. of that is all <laughs> confirmed. That's all happening for reals. Mid-season championship at Ooh. CEO for fifty thousand dollars. Our world championship one hundred thousand dollars. That's a that's a half million over the year. That's half a million dollars. That's for crazy. All of esports over the that's year. That's actually goodness. insane. So, some of our players might actually end up in triple digit earnings oh by the gosh. end of the year. <laughs> all right, so let's just get into it. There's there's a ton to talk about. Um, this is already this oh, is already yeah, ready. Yeah. So boom! Look at all these lands that you mm. definitely need to go to this year. You must register for final round right now and book your hotel and flight. So that's in just right a couple weeks now because yeah it's in a couple weeks but there's still time there's a, there's some availability at the hotel Ooh. at the main hotel the one that's like the venue you just go downstairs from your room bam that you're in the so venue nice. Toronto land happened this past weekend and Sick. it was pretty sweet apparently i got a bunch of pictures here and storm is the brahalla 1v1 world champion Yo, right? All right. <laughs> That's the player profile for Sandstorm that'll be coming out pretty soon. I think on oh Friday. Don't hold me to that. I don't remember what the date is. Um, I'm so curious. And we're going to be seeing. What else was in that interview? I know. It's, there's a lot. It's really cool. Mm. Um, and and there, we're going to be doing a lot more of that this year. So expect that kind of stuff. Ooh, when, we're, yes. when we take breaks at lands and stuff, that, that kind of stuff will play. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be. That's awesome. It's cool. It's cool because you get you get super, more behind cool. the behind the scenes stuff from the players. I've got s- some results for you guys. Top three of singles and doubles, and for singles, first place, I throw. Ooh, Not yeah. too many people are surprised, <laughs> but I throw. You know, he's out there. He goes up. He goes out to the Toronto lands. Uh, yep. Second place, Cooey, who has been top three in every Toronto land, I think, or at least top four yep. in every Toronto land. And in third place, Zakoy, Z A C O I. We don't hear a lot about Zakoy, but he's out there. He's out there on the grind. We had also this weekend. We had a new region, a new group coming together and putting on yeah. a tournament is the Brahalla Middle East community or Ooh. Brahalla MEC for short nice. and you see them on Twitter they put out promo videos and stuff like that they had a tournament this past weekend but man Brahalla going international that's so cool speaking so cool. of international oh you know say do yeah, you yeah speaking of international mm. I we if had happened this past <laughs> we weekend. We had this past weekend was the international winter championships for the international regions so we had southeast asia brazil and australia all had 1v1 brackets this weekend all the best players were out there huge brackets for all the regions um and it's crazy because we had those three going on but staggered times there was just action yeah all weekend wouldn't you know it tiger the man who has never lost a tournament he's ever entered in southeast asia won the tournament yet again. <laughs> I know Kyler was quick to comment in chat. Tiger didn't drop a single game. A single game. All tournament. Yep. And and the, the winning match in grand finals was a three stock. The next tournament after uh, Southeast Asia this weekend was Brazil, where Fiend, the man himself, the guy we were talking hey. about all week long, Fiend. And then after the Brazilian tournament, we had the Australian Winter Ooh. Championship. And speaking of Kings retaking their thrones here kyler <laughs> alice yep. back on top congrats kyler that's awesome he won this australian championship he is going he's he's gonna continue winning i believe oh, he's yeah. definitely gonna keep putting in the work there's at least three more australian championships this year before we can determine who will be the representative of, of the australian yeah. region at the World Championship this year, and Kyler Alice, with a very strong start, is looking like he might be the guy this year. I, I loved seeing the return to form. I've got a fun, this is a really fun one. You ready for this? I'm ready. We have power rankings. I have I have here the top 10 power rankings for every region. Ooh. Every, for, for the first time ever, 
the international regions have power rankings here. Yeah, roll them out. Let's this is see. the post winter championship power rankings for all regions worldwide. There you have it. Oh man. Look at that. That's so cool. That is really, really cool. So these are, this is every tournament is counted since 2017. This is cool. This is it. Uh, Man, that is just awesome getting to see them all side by side for like yeah, right? the, the real like first time.